Can we feed them with those red tongs? You want to feed the snakes with these red tongs? Yes. But uh, the people on the internet said that these are not safe. Me? They say that if you feed the snakes with them, the snake's going to bite you. But, but they can't reach it because it's too little. That's right. That's what I tried to tell them. Yes. But you know what? We're going to make a, we're going to explain it all. Yes. Hi. Hi. Welcome to our channel. Hello. Hello. If you enjoy learning about reptiles and having a good laugh, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Hit. Smash it. Hit. Smash Hit. it. Hit. Smash it right now. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit. Smash. Smash it. Smash. Okay. Smash. Do you know I got a new bicycle? So Daddy bought me a, a little one. Somebody gave it to you. But anyways, now let me ask you something. Let me ask Avery something. Which tongs do you prefer using? Which ones do you prefer using? This one. Why do you prefer using these ones? Because these ones are red. Oh, these ones are also a little bit easier. There, there is the right tool for the job, but there's also the right technique for the job. There's the right way of doing things. So sometimes you might not have the right tools, but you can still do things in a more yes. careful way. Yes. Usually, when I am uh, feeding my snakes, I will feed the babies with these ones or these ones. I don't really care. And I'll feed the adults with these ones. So, yay. It's not always what you do, but how you do it. It's not always what you do, but how you do it. In the past decade, I think I've only been bit, I've been bit many times just by, you know, stupid mistakes that could easily be avoided. Almost every time it's, it's your own fault. When you're keeping snakes and you do silly mistakes, you can get bit. And that can be something as little as not using a snake hook every time you take a snake out. Now, most of my snakes, I trust 100%. I'll go in and grab them without tapping their head, without anything, and I'm totally fine. And that's a risk that I take. If I, if I make that risk, that's my own fault, and I'm not telling you to do that, or uh, even sharing that with you. I like to use something called the face-to-face, mouth-to-mouth, head-to-head technique, and what that is is, Let's say this is the rat, okay? This is the rat's face, this is the rat's tail. So I go and I grab the rat and I'm gonna feed it. I never just kinda like grab the rat and feed it like this. I'll always bring the head towards the head of the snake or mouth to mouth or lips to lips because I don't want the snake to grab the rat here. I don't want it to grab it butt first. I want it to grab it by the head. If I have like the food cleverly, like I'm coming this way and I have it here, I can even touch them in the face with it a bit and then they grab, whoa, what did you do? And they, they'll grab that food right away. They're not gonna reach over and grab me, okay? Even if I should be using these, I could feed any of my snakes with these and I'll be fine. I can use little technique. I pull the drawer open. So the drawers open, the snakes in here, and I can go with these and I can take the rat and use the drawer as protection and dangle it and wiggle it around over here. See, so the rat's tail, I'm dangling it over the edge and see the snake that's inside there can grab it. And chances are he's not gonna come out of the drawer and grab me and bite me. Should I be using this? Yes, but if I if I didn't, because I have a brain and I think about how things work, I can use these tongs and feed every snake in my collection with these tongs and I'm totally fine. And I could even use these. You know, I could probably feed all my snakes just by grabbing the mice by the tail and offering it to them carefully. And um... <laughs> A couple days ago I made a video with Avery feeding snakes using these and she feels comfortable using these. Have you ever been bit when you're feeding snakes? No. And you've been feeding snakes for how long? Three days. You've been feeding snakes for like over a year? Yes. You've been feeding snakes since before you could even talk? 
Yeah, I was talking like a baby when I was a baby. As Avery is feeding the rats, I'm right here with her, watching her do it. So I'll direct her the whole time, and you'll you'll see me like telling her. Pull it away a bit. Pull it away a bit. I'm gonna. Sh I'll show you the clip where she's feeding it, and you can see how she's feeding them all. Good job. It's not easy. It doesn't take it. There you go. Good job. Good Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to smash that like. And her offering food. Their their necks their necks aren't gonna even reach those three inches to like be able to come and bite her. One of the times that I got bit feeding with these, let me show you what happened, okay? The snake was here, and instead of coming forward to give her the food, so I came with the rat from here. So I came with the rat from this side and what ended up happening was I'm over here I'm coming with the rat this way and I put the rat in front of her face but she went for my hand so she went and she bit my hand I screamed and she let go of me so you see snake's head and me I'm going like this she goes and bites me my hand is warm the rat wasn't warm but you see if I had went from this direction she would bite the rat. She wouldn't reach over the rat and bite me. It would have been further for her to travel. So, in the same way with Avery, here's the little rat, the little snake. And Avery is always taught to feed them like this. So, if Avery was feeding the little baby snake like, like this or something, yeah, the snake could bite her. Or like this, yeah, the snake could bite her. But she's always taught to feed the baby snake by bringing the tongs and the rat to the snake's face right around here. So even holding these tongs, she's not gonna get bit because the snake, <laughs> the snake has like a two, three inch neck. Even if it fo like was fully like in and fully jumped out, it it's not gonna reach her hand. And she's taking the baby mouse and she's putting the head towards the head of the snake. You see, when you do that, the snake's not gonna go fly up and bite you. It might miss here or there if it's a ball python, but boas have pretty good aim, okay? You bring that prey item in, and I'm gonna show you, okay? Let me show you how it's done. Okay, welcome back everyone. So I'm gonna show you in person, the head to head, the mouth to mouse, the kissy kissy technique, where when we feed animals, I don't go and grab them by the tail and go dangly, dangly, dangly. I actually grab them by the mid-body and I kind of say, here, let's just, let's just put that right in your face. I'm gonna put that right in your mouth and that's how I feed them. So I'm gonna just use these tiny little tongs to feed snakes that probably I should use the big ones for just to kind of show you how the technique works. And we're not gonna cut it or edit it or anything so that you can see firsthand how this works. And like to see, you know, maybe it's I'm gonna screw up because I shouldn't be doing it like this, so. Okay, here we go. Who are we feeding now? I'm gonna give her a big one. Okay, so see this? And it's harder with a chicken because it has a dangly head. But I'm gonna take this head and I'm gonna go right for the face. Oh, you don't want it? Uh oh. The screen did the thing. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. You got it? Yeah, you show my face. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you don't it. You don't it. Okay, well. Yeah. What's the matter? You don't want to eat?
Maybe she's shy. Okay. Um, you have Okay, here we go. See, this is all we need to face. Okay, next. So, that wizard is my skill. You can't go over there. Stop being so close to me. Over there. I gotta pull out that trash. Okay, come on. Just listen. If you listen the first time, then we're gonna have to tell you again. Okay? My goodness. Okay, so now I'm gonna try feeding Athena. Athena is pregnant. So, yay. So she's gonna have something. I'll just see if she'll eat a little bit. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna have to tell you again. Okay? Look at that. Dangly face in front of the face. Face in front of the face. Where are you gonna take it? Woohoo! See that? Here we go. Wonderful. So now understand my, like you filmed me. Now you're filming the floor. Very good, thank you, welcome back. So, it's so hard. It's so hard to do these things. So I hope you appreciate them and you smash that like button. And it's just like, I don't even know why I'm doing it. Oh, Charlie. Oh, wait. He's waiting. Oh, you your, know, no, no, look. your storage space is running out. You know what, like, you... Okay. All right, go. Right here, right here. On topic. Right. Sorry, my storage space just ran out and you just missed what happened. But you see, this snake, I'd feed with the big thing because he'll come out flying. But here we go with the chicken. Why is there a chicken and a mouse? Charlie, come on. Okay, okay, here we go. We got we got the chicken. And now look, look, look I'm going to put the head towards his head. You got it? Watch this. Woo! There we go. Now film me. This is called the head-to-head -head technique. <laughs> the face-to-face -face technique. Okay, so now let me tell you what I just told you, unless in case it wasn't caught. Avery's video, or the video, there was a video of Avery feeding snakes, and over 50,000 people saw it on Facebook. And almost everyone was positive, so thank you to all you wonderful positive people. But two of you were not. Two people had an opinion. And it was a negative opinion. Uh, those tongs are too small and uh, I'm not very impressed. Well, it's like, it's okay, you don't have to be impressed. But just so that you understand, there is a method to my madness, okay? There is thought, you know? I'm not just a crazy lunatic, okay? Even though you might think so. Now, Jules and Siren, okay. Yeah, watch me get, like, attacked by the ball python. See? I kind of put the face right to its face. And see? By putting the face right in front of its face, it doesn't have anywhere to go. Because the food's right there in its mouth. So it's not going to, like, fly around and grab me or something. Because I'm blocking its face with the food. Okay? And she, she could have reached and grabbed me. But she did it. Okay, now let's try with Siren. Same thing. Do, do, do. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm kind of blocking her way of doing anything. Okay, see? There we go. Wonderful. Now, what are, who's next? Who's next? Let's do Nico. Oh, I didn't separate him. I should have separated him before the smell of rats is in the room. So now, I have probably a much bigger chance of getting bit when I grab him to separate him because there's a smell of rats in the room. But when I do stuff like this, I have the back end of the hook and we're, we're pretty good. And here we go, we got Nico. Nico is in shed right now. Nico is breeding right now, but, okay. I'm only offering him a little meal. When my, when my male snakes are breeding, I offer them smaller meals and same thing. He has a reach where he could probably get my fingers, but because I put the food right in front of his face, Don't want it? Don't you want it, baby? Don't you want it all? He doesn't want it. We'll leave it in and see if he eats it. Okay, I put down your phone. Mm. Don't worry, I know what to do. Show it to your face. Very good. <coughs> okay. 
Well, let's do POD. Do I separate it? I can separate it. Um, here we go. Let's separate them. Woo! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Well, we'll see if he'll eat it. Okay. Uh, is there even a little one that I can even show you what we're talking about? Yeah. No, we had it there. Why did you put in the password? I showed him the right. Now we might get Oh, goodness. Okay, here we have Jack. Jack the spider ball python, who knows? Anything could happen. Apparently, they're not too bright. Now look, Jack. Oh, look at that first try. I'm telling you, he eats better than my, uh, he eats better than my bells. Cause they're just like, they, they, they strike and strike and strike. He, he never misses. He's just like a perfect snake, so. Not to say go and breed a whole pile of spiders, but it's just like if you do, like whoop de doo da day. Okay, let's see if now you're in the mood. Maybe he was just too hyper. No, you don't want to eat? It's like I'd rather do sexy things. Okay. So now let's switch over to the little tongs. Make it more dangerous, because if I would. Where is it? Where are the red tongs? Where are the little. Oh. Because if, if, if I let my little daughter do it, then I should be able to do it too, right? So let's go to Zidnik. Now this snake is this snake is twice the size of the snake that Avery was feeding, okay? This snake is twice... Look, this snake's twice... Can you get me? Do you see me? Yeah. yeah. Do you see my face talking? No. You're, no. Like I'm talking to you. Look at me talking to you. Very good. Thank you. Now, look. Zidnik is twice the size of the snakes that Avery was feeding. Look at how I'm holding this. Look at the tongs. Now look what I'm doing. How is he going to be able to hit my hand? How is he going to be able to hit my hand? He can't hit my hand. I'm going in like this. There's no way that he can hit my hand. There you go. No risk at all. So you see, like, because I'm taking the rats and aiming their face at the face, and keeping a certain distance, I'm standing there next to Avery watching her do everything. So guess what? They can't bite your hand. That snake was double the size. Let's look at the snakes that we were feeding. Okay? Look at this. Look at how little this snake is. Like, so I come with the food over here to feed. Like, it smells it. But it's just like, it, it can't get at me. Even from here, it can't get at me. So it's like, when I have the food this distance away and I'm trying to feed it, why don't you tell me how this snake is going to hit my hand? It can't. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I hope now you understand a technique for feeding snakes, okay? You can use little tongs. You shouldn't. You should use bigger ones, maybe. And if, if you if it's your only snake and you've never done this, then you know what? You should feed all your snakes with the claw. Where's the claw? I don't know where the claw is. Or like, even something like this, right? But Avery, Avery enjoys feeding with these. So it's just like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop her from feeding with these because a couple people think that she's gonna get struck. Avery, your turn. Okay. Okay, you ready to feed something? Okay, very good. Who are we gonna get you to feed? Say hi, Avery. Hi. <laughs> okay, why not? Let's just get you. Do you, do you. How many times have you been bit feeding snakes? Call um, the camera. Um, no. How, how, how often do you get bit when you're feeding snakes? Tell the camera. I didn't get bit when I was feeding 
a snacks. Okay, yeah. very good. Here you go. Let's take that. Let's feed something, okay? Come on. What are we going to feed? Let's just wait. Wait. That was... Okay, where... Let's, let's feed this one, okay? Let's try and feed this one. So, you see, you don't even see the angle which she's feeding. So, it's like, you can't even tell the distance. Because, yeah, when I'm recording like this, it might look... Mm. Like the snake is right next to her hand, but it's not. Look at that distance. There's quite a distance there. It's not biting. Yeah, it's gonna do it. Put the face next to its face. Put the face next to its face. You're not putting the face next to its face and wiggle it. Anyways, Mama ended up coming home, and that's the end of that, okay? Another thing that I'd like you to understand is perspective, right? So, see my hand? As my hand comes closer and closer to the camera, my hand is closer, and, like, look, my hand is bigger than my face. And, when it's right here, oh, like, my hand is over my face. They're right next to each other. But then when you go like this, oh, look at the distance from my face to my hand, like... It's all the way over there. So you have to really understand that when I'm shooting something and you're looking at it like this, I was shooting at it like this. So it's just like this looks totally different than this. When you do this, my whole arm disappears. Like you can't tell how far my hand is from my body, except that you know how long an arm is. But when we go into bird's eye view, now you can see the difference. But I wasn't shooting it at bird's eye view, okay? So I just I just hope that now that has brought in to light and you can all understand. Because <laughs> I'm happy to explain to you. Uh, and I'm happy to debate with you. And I'm even happy to admit when I'm wrong. But I don't know. <laughs> If I don't think I'm wrong, then I'm very happy to defend myself also, so. This is what happens when you spend too much time home alone during COVID. <laughs> I'm going nuts.